Our parasha, Ki Tavo, begins as Moses describes the blessings awaiting the Israelites in the Promised Land, before transitioning to a list of potential curses, introduced by a peculiar statement. Silence! Hear, O Israel! Today you have become the people of the Eternal, your God. This declaration comes as the Israelites prepare to enter Canaan, marking a pivotal moment in their journey. But why this day rather than earlier significant moments? Those freed slaves who left Egypt are gone, and their children of the wilderness are preparing to enter a new phase of life. Today, B'nai Yisrael, the children of Israel, become Am Yisrael, the Israelite nation, signifying a major milestone as the Israelites collectively become B'nai Mitzvah. And what have they learned as they come of age? Silence can also be active, intentionally creating space for communication. And Shema, the command to listen, carries the instruction to focus and pay careful attention. This means being open, listening even when the message is unpleasant. There's a time to be silent, making room for others to speak with respect and patience. There's a time to listen, to learn and understand when the wisdom shared is just and ethical. But there's also a time to acknowledge that each of us is a child of the eternal God, an active member of the people of Israel, with all the blessings and potential curses this entails. Most important of all is the ability to discern the difference, to recognize the blessings before you, and to understand how to respond to the curses that exist in the world. As we reflect on our penultimate parasha, may we embrace these responsibilities while maintaining curiosity and wonder, striving always to understand what it means to be an Am Ladonai, a people of God. Shabbat Shalom.